fruition once the pandemic hit. Now think about that for a moment. They talked about that we have to have masks and protection. They had none. And that we should have these centers. They had none. And that we should have protocols. They had none. Not a single thing. And yet they knew, is it a coincidence, they knew that this pandemic of a COVID virus is going to hit. Wow. What, uh, what kind of emotional alchemy is that? Let's see part two of Plandemic. I think you'll find this interesting, and this is information the average person is not aware of. On behalf of our center and our partners, the World Economic Forum and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, I'd like to extend a very warm welcome to our audience here in New York as well as our larger virtual audience participating online today. The Event 201 scenario is fictional. Today's scenario is going to simulate meetings of a multi-stakeholder group called the Pandemic Emergency Board. We're at the start of what's looking like it will be a severe pandemic. And there are problems emerging that can only be solved by global business and governments working together. There's been uh, some conspiracy theories that are around about uh, the potential that pharmaceutical companies or the UN have released this for their own benefit. And maybe this is a time for us to showcase some cases where we are able to, to bring forward some bad actors and leave it before the courts to decide whether they have actually spread some fake news. A new coronavirus. Infected people got a respiratory illness with symptoms ranging from mild flu-like signs to severe pneumonia. In related news, a significant demand for personal protective equipment like N95 masks and gloves are on the rise. Patients are overwhelming healthcare facilities. People are avoiding public spaces out of fear of infection and in compliance with public health recommendations. Our U.S. affiliate has just released polling results on public expectations for a vaccine. And 65% of those polled are eager to take the vaccine, even if it's experimental. I'm not optimistic about having a vaccine in time to be relevant during this pandemic. With enough money and political will, anything is possible. Penalties have been put in place for spreading harmful falsehoods, including arrests. If the solution means controlling and reducing access to information, I think it's the right choice. The world saw large-scale protests and in some places riots. This led to violent crackdowns in some countries and even martial law. The public lost trust in their respective administration. Economists say the economic turmoil caused by such a pandemic will last for years. The societal impacts, the loss of faith in government, the distrust of news, and the breakdown of social cohesion could last even longer. We have to ask, did this need to be so bad? And now for those of you who are listening just on WBAI, we have to say goodbye because they only have five minutes left. They have to use that for the news. But you can continue listening on PRN.live. And remember, on PRN.live, I only am able to share a small percentage of the articles and footnotes and references that I prepare each day. So if you go scroll down, going to PRN.live to carry an all show in the notes, you'll see all of the notes and information to document what I'm saying. I'm the developer of Linguistic Genomics, which was the first platform on which you could determine the intent of communication rather than the literal artifact of communication. But we've also used that technology for a number of other applications in defense and intelligence and finance. And most notably, in the early 2000s, my company was responsible for bringing down what was at the time one of the largest tax frauds in U.S. history. Um, I want to just make a note, if you look here at all of these particles that enter, I mean, this is in the breathable cabin through an air conditioned and filtered system. And if you just, I mean, it is unbelievable. The peritrichus microbiota, for lack of a better word and whatever else is carried on these i mean it to, here's what the atmosphere looks like it looks like a normal day in new york nothing out of the ordinary and yet this is what's accumulated on the dash 
over the last, I don't know, few car trips or it really, I've noticed it mostly today in its spectrum of accumulation. Now for me, there's somebody by the name of, I think, something Noel, but I don't know if, how it's spelled. It was on radio station, which I just played. Today is September 1st, 2022. I went to the Oncology Center at St. Francis um, in Long Island for what's called a B12 uh, injection um, due to my deteriorating health. On my way, I listened to this, um, I can, they only said his name. They didn't pronounce him as a doctor, although he sounded as such. So, and he was speaking about King's College and some other things, which were nice references to hear him speak since I'm not educate at that level of the scholarly community. So, um, I'm listening to him. He was talking about inflammation um, he was talking about some of the successes he had. He also spoke about when he first started, how they tried to shut him down. Um, I was wearing this hat while I was at the oncology center. Right now I'm driving. So the brim, I don't want to ruin my hat. So I switched to a baseball cap. Um... So there's that. Uh, then it switched to somebody who was testing for dimers. Uh, she said out of 10 tests that she got back um, in some kind of... I like this is other people's research, but she put it on the radio. Um, she was not necessarily testing for whatever the test was originally. She was testing for something else. Um, and she said 7 or 8 out of the 10 had this D factor. I do, I did not hear her entire construct of the study for which she was performing um, in however that gets put together. Um, however, the clot factor on unvaccinated was very interesting and the fact that seven out of eight out of 10 or seven or eight out of 10 um, presented with this abnormal clotting whatever um, after this coronavirus. Now, corona um, in hable espanol, I found out corona means crown. Um, there's the coronal suture in the cephalic region um, in medical terms that I've learned through my studies, my basic studies, uh, just to have some form of vocabulary to speak biological warfare and protect myself or arm myself with something since I have sequential generational um, I don't know if it's a procurement but I have a vested interest in the future since Alexander and Antony is my most distal Alexander's more proximo, the IC in Roman numeral, my Bija. He is even more proximal. Um, and so I have these biological markers in time and space uh, with the extra special birthing schedule uh, that I'm on. Lewis yesterday played something called Abbott and Costello about who's on first, what's on second, and whatever. This is something local. Then they were talking about dice. In the animal kingdom, where they test themselves as animals and xenophilia, sometimes they use real live animals and not their own bloodline. I mean, again... This is this capitalistic society that they're procuring or they're enhancing or whatever. Um, I don't fall in line with that. I'm something different. Um, it's actually, it behooves me and it becomes a actual detriment and physical risk to be housed 
in this level of congregation where they're just, their practices are on each other, um, but not with any real integration of any kind of like wanting to cure, just more pushing products and then patching symptoms as they come up. It's really frustrating. Um, I don't know why I'm bedded with animals um, or amongst animals. I do not know why in marriage bed, marital bed where I needed special bloodline to protect my children, my future children, the bloodline, the airship, whichever, uh, and myself biologically. Um, I don't know why they sent animals. I didn't ask for animals. I, in fact, wrote several papers when I was a youth in my early element. I told the animals to their faces I did not want to marry them at, when they asked. And I also wrote down on paper that I did not wish to be married that way. I know that someone in the big wide world of importance knows this but it's for medicinal reasons as well as, as medical. Um, I know consort knows. I'm just not clear why they would purposely harm one of their own knowing they protect their own bloodline and I am an extension of that. So this just gets really confusing. It's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Ketteruz, it's Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is Broken, and it's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361. Today's September 1st, 2022.